Hello everybody, you're welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Chwara Mimi. God bless you as you stay tuned. Yes, I am here today with another episode on Prophet TB Joshua accusers regretting. A lot, nearly all those Prophet TB Joshua accusers are regretting, especially Ajoke. She's the first person. Ajoke is in depression as we speak right now. Yes, please, if you are saying my face for the first time my name is Joara Mimi and I share gospel related content with you the truth I know about situations I share it here with you and I also do vlogging that's I share lifestyle we visit different places part of the world together yes so it is often said charity begins at home that is why I begin home and I show you just places around home very soon we get out of home and we explore the world together. So if you see my face for the first time, you subscribe. My return subscribers, I love you guys so much. God bless you for always staying connected. A lot of people that spoke against Prophet TV Joshua, a lot of them, nearly all of them are regretting. I watched some of them saying that they need security and they need people to help them out. Why? Because I don't want to be calling names. I don't want to come and receive strike here. They said they need people to help them out. Why? Because whenever they go to the market, they are unable to even say to them. Whenever they are passing, the great people don't answer. One said they are even calling her workers of iniquity. That she passed somewhere and somebody said, look at the kind of people that bite the hand that they fed on. Everybody is just running away from them. And about Ajoke, news have it that Ajoke is going through depression. Remember, nothing is known yet about her mother saying she was being thrilled to talk against the servant of God. That it is true she left school long time ago, but she has never opened her mouth anywhere to talk against the less servant of God to be Joshua to when she was being called promised motivation and the end of it all the motivation was not being paid you know what I mean by the motivation and out of her frustration she said it seemed as if she got from fire to a blasting fan why because the situation in her life now is getting worse. Nobody wants to be friends with her. Nobody wants to talk on a normal base with her. Nobody wants to come close to her. She's just feeling depressed and lonely and she wants the world to help her. What is your advice to her? Because my advice is Jesus Christ remain the same yesterday, today and forever. And he still loves you. He never says it is over. So, come out publicly. If actually what you are saying is from your heart that you regret ever indulging in such act, come out publicly and we beg for forgiveness to the world. We are not begging for the forgiveness to scorn or to anybody in scorn. Nobody have ever said anything concerning the allegation, even the mama Evelyn Joshua that Ajoke said, she recently said she grew up knowing her as mother. She has never opened her mouth to say anything. And that woman being so kind as I know, if Ajoke goes back to school and beg for forgiveness, the woman will take her back and continue to nurture her as the daughter. And that is how they have been nurturing her from the moment she needed the mom so much the mom threw her away and that is how this selfless woman of God accepted her in her home gave her all her and the husband the late prophet gave their all but she ended up doing what she did so she's just one of the person that cries another one says I don't want to be calling their names because you must have already seen them on social media says that a lot of people have rejected him. He cannot go to the market. That even 
if he appears in the church, if he goes to a church now, everybody in the church will run away. Even to church, there's no way. All he do is that he lock himself in the room and stay because it is not easy. If you want to get something to eat, you send the children to go and get it. Why? Because it is not easy. Another one said, if speaking against Prophet T. Bishop could make people hate him like this, then he regret ever, he regret ever meeting the pioneer of the allegation. And we all know who the pioneer of the allegation is. So a lot of them are regretting. One left and went to attack Pastor Chris Oyakilome, and it didn't still work. All the money you make on social media from people who are saying, sorry to say, blinded in the spirit to know who is a true man of God and who is fake, will end up but will end up to zero. Why? Because you need people to live. Those people will end up disappointing you. Why? Because the only person we should trust should be God. And the man of God, Prophet Tim Joshua, always says, Jesus Christ is the only one we should trust. Why? We don't have to trust any human being because human being can fail. Human being can say that this is A. And in the next second, the human being stands for B. And everybody will believe the human being. But the only person we should trust that never changed is Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we are seeing that happening in life. That the only person that doesn't change it is Jesus Christ. Prophet T.B. Joshua said he himself, he can be T.B. Joshua. He's T.B. Joshua. When the Spirit of God doesn't take charge, he is T.B. Joshua. When he's out, when the Spirit of God is, is, all, is, is out of him, he is T.B. Joshua. He is Mr. T.B. Joshua. But when the presence of God comes and envelops him, he is Prophet T.B. Joshua. And that is how the Spirit helps him to walk in the likeness of God. Please, let us trust God. Look at what these people are going through. A lot of them are crying out there. They use a kind of way to cry, begging for help and forgiveness. But I would pray they come out publicly and they talk. I mean, they should go straight to the point. They shouldn't turn around, beating around the bush. They should go straight to the point and the world is going to forgive them. Yes, no one is beyond sin. It is true. Most of them are saying that they were being promised this, this, because I've got to, I've watched three of them say even what they promised them, they have not given them. They have not been given. The payment, they have not been given. It means they saw the humble reputation of their mentor or their former mentor for no good reason. And look at it. I always say, look at Ajoke. Ajoke. Since she left school, nothing has ever been heard about her. Yes, since she decided to leave school and the man of God liberated her to go. Nothing has ever been said about her till when she just came and appeared on the allegation against the servant of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. So, what has been happening with her life? It means life had, has, had been difficult. So she just came thinking that Maybe from the allegations she will get something. And look at it now. Everything was being exposed. We watched video of how she came about school. And she openly said in the allegation that she was the biological daughter of Prophet Bisha and she was being molested and maltreated by the less servant of God. But the video we saw, I mean the video why the man of God was still alive. Everything that she was doing was in the clip and all of us watched it. And that is why many people turn to disbelieve whatsoever was said in the allegation. Why? Because everything was being acted and now she is regretting. Who should she blame now? What is your advice to most of those people that spoke against the servant of God? What do you think they should do? Let us discuss at the comment section because I know these people are going through a lot. And please, you can give a thumbs up for the video and Make sure you share so that it can reach to them. Maybe your advice at the comment section, section will help them out. Thank you so much. See you. Bye-bye. God bless us.